Hi everybody, this is Al Spath. I'm coming to you live today and uh, <clears throat> we're just going to grind over at full flush and give you an update on what's going on in the world of poker. Um, I am not here to support full flush poker in any way, shape or form. In fact, if you look over here in chat, I'm going to just type GM, see what happens. Oh, it worked. I am not, uh, my chat privileges have been returned. I happened to mention the other day that we do videos up on uh, Twitch TV and they ban my chat. As for uh, withdrawals, I cannot give you a, an update from anybody. Nobody's come back to me and say they had any money. I know that Posse, um, oh boy, Throw away a nice winner here. Um, PPI Teach with the star right here. Just to indicate who the client is. It's me. And uh, I probably wouldn't have won much money from chip back anyhow. The reason I have 25 is because I sat down and everybody folded to me firsthand and, uh, before I recorded. And uh, it wasn't that I just sat out. Anyhow, back to full flush. We have uh, talked to the affiliate manager there. We've tried everything else to, to see if we can circumvent systems. It's just too hard. So starting this afternoon, Ryan Posse, uh, PPI Posse, is going to be streaming some cash games over at Intertops. Now, the Intertops um, link will show up in the chat okay for those of you that are in here for those of you who are not please email ryan or myself and we'll get you that link uh, we'll put it up on the facebook page as well and i should have bet there but i didn't i'm gonna bet now as to too late and i think she's got me beat with a jack no, she didn't have it. She picked up a draw, so it worked out good for me. Anyhow, um, that's the latest on Full Flush, and we're going to do some things. And you notice I've been doing a lot of jackpot tournament training over. I can't let her see this for a limp. Um, at True, showing you the $2 and $10 ones. Yesterday, was fortunate enough to play the $10 one for $60, which... Turned out to be a nice profit. Come on, nine. Is <laughs> show it, slick chick. That's Pamela from Colorado. Yeah, we'll just min raise him up here and see what lobster wants to do. So, the plan is, moving forward, to do as little as possible here at Full Plush and record from here. Doing it today to give you the update, as I said, and then get some money on inner tops and start playing over there and I'll continue playing at True, along with doing the jackpot tournaments. And I'm offering a very good July special on some training on jackpots. If you want to get into that, you need to contact me at Alspath at alspath.com and uh, we'll get let's see we got one out two out this ace nine becomes a bigger pot bigger hand in this four-handed matchup even though I'm out of position now I have position take the money when you can folks you got two sitting out somebody with two cents hopefully it'll be lifted pretty soon it's costing us more in blinds each time because it's going around faster. I hope that some of you have watched some of those jackpots. You've got to have a strategy to play the jackpot tournaments. And if you don't, well, then, of course, you're going to get yourself in trouble really fast. you got to almost let one person get, get knocked out. you got to knock one person out. 
to get into that game. You can't be going out with two people left in that tournament. I think he's going to bet a pot or half. Yeah, I, I can't go there. Can't shake a calling station. Just staying even right now. Hey, Nick. Nick from Baltimore is in the house this morning. It's good to see. Oh, and my damn Twitch page just went out. My chat screen just disappeared. I don't know what. Wait, so forgive me, folks. I'm going to clear it and I'm going to bring up a page. It's going to be the uh, Positive Poker Insiders page on uh, the internet because I have to relaunch the Twitch Explorer. See, it's dead. That's why I went dead. Ah. Sorry you have to see this. That's the way it goes. Uh oh, let me do a pass size bet here. Let me get this over here. Let me pop it out for you guys. Move it over to the other side. Oh, look at that. It folded me out. Okay, start this over again. I'm betting if she checks it. And I'm bowling if she stays. <laughs> Simple. Well, he's back at least. Let's get back up to the $25. Uh oh. Lobster doesn't do that without a hand, so let's give him credit what credit's due. Appreciate those of you that want to join us over at Intertops. Again, if you're watching this and you cannot see the chat, of course you can't see the chat, we'll have a link um, over at Facebook that you could click on and become a member of the group. Posse set that up. He's the affiliate. And, um, or you can email us and we'll send it to you. It's a good flop for this Queen 10. I'm just going to check it back. There's no need to bet that. I'm going to put a small bet out there, like I want to take it. He's gone. Ooh, does he really have a better at 10? What can I get him to bet? What can I get him to pay me off with? With this pair of what? Sevens? Right, that brings us back over the 25 mark. That's where we want to be. Now we want to head towards 40. Got to have a goal. You sit with 25, you should goal should be 50. You make that goal. You want to stay? Things are going good. Leave, make sure you leave with the 50, but play with this money over 50 and run it up. You make it to 60, maybe you want to leave with 52 or 53 and play with the money above that. That's a stop win method. Don't give it back. Oh, two pair there, queen six. 
That's a bad bet. Yeah, that's worth the pot size bet. Remember, we're playing five handed here. Queen of Hearts is sitting out. So I might as well put pressure on people. They seem a little passive. When they strike back or lobster raises, we know they got a decent hand and can just get out of the way of it. It's the matador type thing. Excuse me just one second. I got a call. Good morning, this is Al. Good, I'm writing on a, I'm running on a Skype call right now. Could I call you back in well it'll be probably an hour or so. I'm in a meeting. Thank you so much. Bye bye. That was Bernie Sanders uh, asking me to no. <laughs> That was for Adam. I got some bets going on in the Facebook page on who each of the candidates will select as their vice president. I picked Castro, used to be the mayor of San Antonio, who's in the cabinet right now for Obama. I picked him to be Hillary's, and I picked Pence, but I'm kind of wavering on that because Trump said he wanted a bulldog. That's not a bulldog. All right, I'm gonna check this back to him. Not afraid of the diamonds coming. He might have the deuce, though. He might have the deuce. Nah. Guy's a clown. All right, 34. Are right, going north? To Alaska. That's a song that some of you might remember, but most of you say, what the hell is Teach talking about? Johnny Horton sang St. De Bismarck. Battle of New Orleans. All right. It's a shame that Full Flush doesn't pay out the way they should. It's a shame that the software is not bad. It needs a few improvements and everything, but um, the play generally is, is is soft on it. I mean, you could lose. I lose on it. <clears throat> but we're hoping that inner tops is going to be even easier for you. Ryan tested it out yesterday. He played a one cent, two cent, or a two cent, four cent, and left with quite a bit of money. And then he played, uh, I think it was a 25 50 and left with 80 big blinds there too so uh, he did very well and we'll show you live this afternoon finally they picked up Queen of the South here Queen of Hearts with her two cents we'll get somebody else in at the table blinds won't come as fast Somebody got called to the table but didn't want to sit yet. We don't have enough money to sit. Decent hand, bad position. I would probably call a quarter. Somebody raises up 60. I need another caller to get in the pot. I'd like to figure out what I'm going to do before it's my turn. So the pressure is not on me. And I collect the money that way if I get a walk. Now I'm going to make it a dollar. He's only got 519, so I'll probably stack with him. She limped, and for her to limp, she probably has a decent enough hand. So I got to make it a little bit higher. Again, if he pushes here with pocket seven, they take the race, I lose. I lose my profit, but that's okay. I was letting her know I had a strong hand here. Just didn't have a king. And a lot of times, Pam will come in with 
you know, pocket pair and think she's going to hit the set. Seven and a half to one is really bad odds. Hey, the gaming is CHU. I don't know who you are, but welcome to the stream. We're over here at Full Flush this morning, demonstrating how to grind at a 10 cent 25. My name is Al Spath. I'm part of the Positive Poker Insiders. Uh, welcome. If you haven't uh, been here before, please click on our name there and give us a follow. And we would love to broadcast to you whenever you're available. Just click on that right there. And uh, like I say, we're going to kick off um, some play over at Intertops this afternoon and stream live from there. And if you join, we'll get you into a free roll or two coming up uh, once we get some players over there. Ryan's organizing that and the affiliation. And all you folks out there that are watching that are uh, playing somewhere else or playing here on Full Flush and want to change, and you want somebody that... Uh, We'll provide you some great information. Come on over and check us out. And I got some news about card player um, cruises. Um, some very good friends of ours, uh, Tina and Mark Napolitano, have now stepped in to run that. Uh, Linda Johnson and Jan Fisher will still be there, still be going on the cruises. But uh, Tina and Mark will have some new information coming out so that uh, you can check with your local, I'm going to go full pot here, I want to get her out, um, check with your local card rooms, that's a good draw for me, I'm just going to check it back here, in case she has a light ace, um, thinking she's got maybe Jack Queen, oh, she did have the light ace, and she had the clubs, had me covered, but anyhow, we'll, they'll be running some events at different uh, card rooms, maybe you want to get in touch with her, or, touch with me and I can get you in touch and get that done at your local card room so there'll be availability to uh, receive uh, an opportunity to go on a cruise a poker cruises usually have between three and five hundred folks aboard that they should be good enough there Nick says that the uh, Intertop software, he has this sometimes it's jammed and, and, and jammed in very light. Uh, the, 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 everything is jammed in. Well, we're going to check that out this afternoon and see if they've made some improvements. Uh, we've heard they, they have. So, Nick, come back this afternoon when Ryan gets back from his meeting and the stream, he'll stream it out so you'll get an email notification. Whoa, do we want to pay 75 cents? No, because the guy doesn't have any money behind. So why do we want to race him? He does, but he could have folded too. We don't want to do that. When a person doesn't have the money to pay you off, you have no implied odds. Give the man the ace. He's not gonna go in without having an ace or a pair. Let's face it, he's got nothing for a stack. Nothing for a stack. And Nico Source has a little bit of money. Again, the goal is to get up north of $50 here, sit with $25, play an hour, see what you can do. We've been playing, let's see. 19 minutes. So we got 40 minutes to go. Again, what is a good rate of win rate at this level? I would say that if you walked away with five to ten dollars inside of an hour, you'd be doing pretty good. If you get more than ten dollars inside the hour, you're doing pretty great. Because if you divide the big blind, which is 25 cents into $10, you'll see that goes 40 times, okay? So if you win 40 big blinds, you've done a pretty good job. Think about it at 1-2. You know, if you sat down at a 1-2 table and left with 40 big blinds, you'd be leaving with 80 bucks in an hour. That's a pretty good rate, isn't it? So, you know, you don't have to win 10. I said 5 to 10. So if you win 5... 
we're talking about 20 big blinds so again at, at a one two it'd still be forty dollars an hour you know forty dollars an hour is a good rate anywhere in this country to be earning and if you're playing multiple tables and you're winning at that rate then of course you're winning double that so I just took a shot at him since he checked figured he had nothing hit nothing wouldn't stay let the board work for me you got a new player here in hazy from Los Angeles who posted because he posted I'm going to raise because I don't want to give somebody that posts that might have and checked an opportunity to see the flop with a hand that could beat me that really isn't a good hand to begin with I got position this is a calling station because it's so coordinated I'm going to take the free card I do have a queen as a, as a backup here and I missed all the way down the run. he might just put a bit out here and take it up from me which he could do every day of the week He may have flopped straight. He may have queen jack and just had it all the way. I had nothing. Why am I going to waste my money on, on a very, very coordinated war, what they call a wet board? We want to also say, uh, I wish Mark Napolitano, who's playing in the uh, main event up in Vegas, uh, the best of luck. He's going to day two with I think 85,000 chips his goal was a hundred thousand uh, just to go from the like, starting chips up to a hundred that first day but he, he had a couple of aces cracked twice I think it was and then but he did double up towards the end and got to 85 which is a very good place to be again those of you that are interested in any kind of training shadowing coaching, uh, jackpot training, whatever it is, my July is open and I am taking on new clients. I had a new client come from Los Angeles last night and another new client come from New Jersey last night. So I do have some openings. I never fill so that I have to do like a full-time job. That's not what I'm doing. I do this part-time. Well, I love what I do, get paid for my time, and hopefully make someone else a very prosperous and happy player. Oh, that three would come out at the end. Two seventy nine. Yeah, I, I figured he was gonna go jam it. He'll, he'll, he may. This kind of guy may get to where he doubles up and gets a six or seven, and he leaves, and he comes back to another table with another three or four dollar, whatever the minimum is. And that we got players that are like that. They're kind of hit and run people, and they never risk a lot of money. And if they double up, they get like, hey, that's a that's a way to build a bankroll. I don't have any problem with that. But a lot of times, I see them stay a little bit too long, and then they dunk all those chips in, and they lose everything. And when you lose everything, um, you know starting from scratch is not uh, not the thing you want to do you 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 earned that money you need to keep that money so we're at the uh, 24 minute mark and we've got about uh, 35 minutes to go on this broadcast so we'll be over probably um, about 10 minutes to 1 today Eastern time. There's a raise and early position from the calling station. That's an indication of a very good hand now for him. Very good hand. This could be pocket eights. It could be ace king, ace queen. Um, this this bet will tell us that he goes about half. Well, let's see if he goes a little higher here. She's a calling station. Remember? Oh, he checked it. He checked it. And she puts out that little quarter bet. So he did have probably like a pair of eights or something like that. Some people feel that, you know, that's a great hand. And they get tied to it and they lose too much money doing it. 
We want Slick Chick to win money. We have position on. Remember, when you have position on somebody, like he has on me. Okay, he's a little testy now. That's not a good flop for us. Thumb out. Chips usually flow in this manner clockwise around the table only because position. People have position on those that are yet to act. You uh, lost in, in poker. You tweeted what? Uh, that I was live? I didn't do that myself. <laughs> Forgot. Thank you. If you did, tell me again who lost in poker is again. Is this the? Is this Scotland? No, it can't be Scotland. It's got to be uh, Australia. 10-4. Boy, nice flop there. I would have shoved it. If I'd given somebody raises against me, I don't want anybody. Nah, I don't think I would have raised it. I probably would have shoved it on, on the turn, maybe. No, nah, flop. I want to keep people in there. And if they got a set, they got me beat. Anyhow, I'm not going anywhere with two pair. Nah, five would have straightened me out. Boom, chakalaka. Yucko. Gotta get going. Only six bucks to the good. Somebody asked me the other day, the day of the, the, the question of the day, always the same kind of question. How much poker is luck and how much is skill? And you guys can answer that yourselves. But I think that when you play poker, you have to be very skillful and you have to be experienced. That'll take you a long way. You'll win a lot because of that. However, sometimes you have to be very lucky. And sometimes luck doesn't come. Sometimes luck does come. I would say luck has to do with it. But you can't bet on luck. You can't count on luck. You sure can't advocate to play with deluxe style. But I would say it has a part to do. I don't know anybody that wins a tournament that doesn't win a race they shouldn't win or something like that. It's very rare that you're in control, never behind in any hand, make no mistakes, anything like that. But I think luck has to do with poker. Let's try a limp here, just see what happens. It's almost like they're thinking, what's Al trying to pull over there? Oh, New Zealand, yeah, okay. Well, I like that 10. Except I can't bet the 10, there's nothing to go with it. If I wanted any card on the flop, it would be a seven. Of course, a club's no good, so three sevens are what I would want, or three jacks. And I really don't want the ten jack being out there for the person that has the queen king. So, it's I'm limited, and as a flush draw, I have nothing. Runner, runner is twenty-two to one. Why would I? Why would I stay? I can talk all day and talk myself into what the possibilities are. But I can't commit the money to something that doesn't pay. And we're just coming up at the 30 minute mark. Again, if anybody is interested in twitching and streaming themselves, they can contact Posse 1972 or on here it's PPI underscore Posse. And Ryan would be glad to work with you on getting an overlay. Wow. Bunch of 
nothing, huh? Okay, folks, down to buy it all profit and change, and I need to get some cards. I'm gonna need a collar or two for me to get 25 cents into this. Um, somebody's at the front door. You'll have to really excuse me, man. Be right back. back just enough to fold that was next door David just came back from the local market with some fresh corn on the cob some weight corn on the cob sometimes they have the bicolor sometimes they have the yellow but now is the season for the white to be coming in they're small but they're very tasty and sweet I'm gonna limp into this pot just to try to make something happen here because of my position I could raise with it but I want callers because I've got a drawing hand. Anybody can have a four in an unraised pot. Be very careful you don't go broke in an unraised pot. And get out of the way when you got crap like I got. Hey, Posse's in the house. Just playing some. Updating people on the flush dinner tops. And uh, we need a place to direct people on these videos so that they can go and find that link to Intertop. So maybe you can give it to me and I can put it up as the first tagged item at Positive Poker Insiders on Facebook. So when they go, they see it and they can click it on. That and the True Poker one. And I'll put both of them there. So if you send me that in an email later on, I'll do that if that's okay with you Ryan oh boy I folded another winner here track oh here we go we want some action I don't want to drive everybody off oh man you can't see this this is from my grandkids certified chick magnet <laughs> Listen, I got a calling station. I'm raising them out of here. I'm out of here. I think he probably had eight, nine, something in that area. A seven. But I can't stay in there and waste more money trying to go runner runner. Someone coming in. I can't call 35 out of position with 10-7 suited or not. 10-8, I might. Too big of a gap with the two spaces in between. 
So we know he calls with just about anything, right? So let me just demonstrate to you here something. Find a reason, Nico. So that's how you got to handle people like that and like that. If you want them in the pot, make it a little lower. If you don't want them in the pot, make it a little higher. She never raises, so she's got a pair or she's got a decent ace here. Unlucky. Oh. I didn't stick in this one with 10 9. Unlucky, I took a 50 or $80 off of him the other day and he said, oh, I'm just unlucky. I said, Well, <laughs> that's right, that's your name. And I gave him a link to our Twitch channel and told him to come on in and take a look and watch some videos. Look at look how soft uh, Slick Chick just paid that. Give an opportunity to lose the hand. She's always limping with a big hand. Well, that's actually she did 50 cent with that one. And I told you that she probably had something there. But normally she's a limping machine. Chip back sitting now. He's got $4. Let's see if he disappears. I don't know if he sat with $2 or what he sat with. He was here before me sitting out. We've been on 37 minutes now. We're going to stay till top of, you know, till one hour. Till everybody. <laughs> now it doesn't say badass. It says trick magnet. Uh, Since 1953, I just noticed it down here. It says, since 1953. Well, since 1948. I guess 53, I was five years old. I guess maybe I was pulling chicks at, at five in the sandbox. <laughs> if I could just have that magnetism now, everything would be very great. Uh oh, here comes a raise. I knew Mr. Lucky was going to do that. Nine, seven, eight, six. I would call him, but nine, six. Other people love it. I don't like it. Especially don't like three, nine. Still got about 22 minutes. And I've lost my. I was up almost $10. Have not hit anything. It only takes one good hand in one session. You're looking for that one hand that you get into that you really. There goes the the guy with the money. He'll be back with his two dollars or whatever later on. You need one good hand that you win eight, ten, maybe even fifteen dollars, and you really uh, you're on your way. Sometimes it don't happen, but you got. That's what they call it, grinding. It's a grind. It's a grind to go up and down and lose and win. Continue doing things like that. Uh-huh. Can't go with a raise. So, Posse, if you want to, if you have the time, I know you're going to stream from Intertops shortly. I'm going to be done here in less than 20 minutes. But... Um, make sure you go over to the Positive Poker's uh, Twitch channel and change edit the uh, the title for your email that's going to go out. Mute mm. your sound there. But if you want to go over to uh, Positive Poker Insiders and, and put something up that 
uh, brand new uh, affiliate link with Intertops at uh, to join us. So, you know, we'll, once we get enough people in there, we'll we'll try to run some free rolls for them and everything. But we want to move people under you if if possible, and also put the True Poker uh, link up there as well. That would be helpful. But I'll continue to do what I'm doing at True and over at Intertops when I get some funding over there. But that, that's not a hurry for me because yesterday I played like five jackpots and I was lucky in all of them, especially the $10 ones, which makes a big difference on your stack size. In fact, one of, one of them I was lucky that it spun the wheel and it came out to be $60. And uh, Posse says he's joining the, the table for Nico Source. people telegraph what they got at these there you go there's oh man unlucky show it show it unlucky show us come on you're on camera you know that uh, that's well, it was Monday night I guess I, I told you in one of the jack I went down to the local friend's house and played two tournaments first one's a twenty dollar buy-in with a twenty dollar rebuy at halftime for extra chips so it's forty invested and the second one's a twenty five dollar freeze out on the first one seven players and then one the second one well, I actually chopped it because the guy that was dealing against me and everything he was under my chip stack but in, he had lost the first game so it was a chance to get him back his money for both games and I didn't I don't mind that friendly type game Every, once a week somebody else brings dinner last night we had uh, pulled pork sandwiches and a number of accoutrements there's posse getting involved all the way with unlucky who's got aces against jacks he didn't believe him that he had an overpair and the posse goes down to mr lucky ay 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 that's a tough one I'm gonna see if I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna see if I can get Nico's money right here with this black two of clubs. Oh yeah. Oh. Nope. Okay, Mr. I said I can't say get banned. It's when your eye has a movement. <laughs> get some sleep, lost in space. No, lost in space over in New Zealand. Maybe next time I'll just write the word witch. Ooh, look at the pot sizes now. Now Posse joined the table. All of a sudden, it's going big time. Let's see what time we got. We got 15 minutes left.
What happened just then? Oh my god. Nico source one with three of a kind. Posse, get out of here quick. This is not This is not your kind of deal. You can't pull off what you're trying to pull off. <laughs> These people sense or no sense. Oh, we lost lobster and got small D's. I have no idea about that. Hmm. 14 minutes left and I am stuck doing nothing. But I'm not stuck any money. Yet. Big bet. I would think that Nico Source has got either the 9 or he's got a draw like a Jack 8 and he's looking for a 10 or he's got a Jack King and he's looking for the, also the 10. I would think that that's what he was doing there. <laughs> Posse says he's getting pounded so far at this table. It's the first hand, you know, or second hand he had, he got pocket jacks and queen hit the board and he still didn't believe the guy had either the queen or it turned out he unlucky he had aces. But there's sometimes that, you know, other people are going to be at the table and they get married, you know, king, queen, one pair and they're going to go all the way to. So it's, I don't know if it's a great idea to, to go all in like he did with the jacks because of the fact that, you know, people play such wide range of hands in here like queen 10 and queen jack i mean they get at the pair and they think they're golden and uh it can take you a little bit better was as posse plays the 25 cent 50 51 and a one two it, it get people are getting a lot more predictable it's a lot in my opinion it's a lot easier here he puts a six dollar bet out there to take it down he didn't really want to call her i would say that he had a much better hand maybe pocket nines maybe um Maybe he had ace jack or ace queen. He just didn't want, or king queen suit. He didn't want to see the pop. Maybe he'll tell us. I'll ask him uh, in the chat what the six dollar hand was. One thing you won't know. You see, we're on a delay, so I don't know what he has. He doesn't know what I have. We're not. There's no. No form of uh, talking to each other. He's watching the chat, which is three minutes behind but that's about it but I can chat in real time there if I wanted to and I just ask him what was the six dollar hand I have a nice hand here so he has to be careful because I'm going to call with this unless he makes a two dollar bet <laughs> you son of a bitch <laughs> I just got it out of my mouth and, and, and you knew it damn you Oh, he had pocket kings on that hand that he made the six dollar bet. So I said he had a pretty good hand, a lot better than I thought. But he had a really good hand. Now he's all in here with maybe, maybe uh, ace king. All these doesn't know if he wants to draw him out. The way Posse's been going, he would lose the race. And he had on that hand. I'm gonna stay with eight. I'm gonna stay with he went two dollars, so I'm gonna say ace king on that hand. We'll see if he posts it in the chat here in a couple of seconds when he gets some time. Slick chick doesn't come in. I'm coming in for the fifteen three nickels. Come on, Deco Sauce, let me come in and catch some twos. No. Okay, that's an easy fold. 
He did have Ace King then. He just answered me in chat. If the guy had their a draw or two, he would make them pay the full amount. Posse's gonna win most of the time doing that. Just sucks when somebody hits the set or two pair. He's getting no respect, he says, at the table. He's down two buy in, so he's, uh, he said to watch, like, this hand. Nico Soros will call with a wider range of hands because Posse's playing so apparently sloppy, but I don't see where. Posse's down two buy-ins unless he lost three buy-ins because he's up a buy-in at the table now. He had ace king on yeah on the ten nine. That's what I said. Oops, of clubs too, and I had I had clubs. Yeah, oh, oh he's saying I he wrote uh, spades and he he meant clubs. He didn't have clubs. Where are we at on time here? Um, Got about eight minutes to go for me, but uh, Posse, the question to you is, uh, are you going to then edit the thing and jump over to Intertops and get set up, and how much time does anybody that's watching have before you're going to send out your alert? We'll get a message from him in just a second. It'll be about two minutes before he hears that. Full pot, that's a five. I don't think it's a nine ten. Hard to stay with a four three seven flop with a nine ten is the only reason I said that. I'm limping in this one. I think Posse's gonna make it a little bigger. But I wanna see if I can get some more people in or maybe a, a raise prior. I wouldn't love Nico to go eighty five cents. Nah, five doesn't help me, folks. Five did not help me. The person with the eight, it helps. Don't stay in for the bottom end. It's called the dumb end for a reason. The ass end for a reason. Today I wanted to sit and grind and hopefully make some money. I haven't, really. Uh, Two dollars is not nothing to shout about or anything like that. But I wanted to give you an update on full flush. I wanted to tell you about the chat ban I had today because I said the word Twitch TV in chat, <laughs> which was broadcasting a full flush uh, video sometimes. I wanted to tell you about, we haven't heard nothing more on uh, withdrawals from anybody getting their money. Posse has been trying to get up to a certain amount so he could do another withdrawal to see what they'll, how long that will take. and. So we moved over to Intertops. Uh, Posse has uh, set up an affiliate there. Also, the old affiliate at True is still going. I will post those on Positive Poker Insiders on Facebook. If you haven't joined, please ask to join today. Positive Poker Insiders. Um, you can look us up on Facebook, and I'll make that the first post with the links. And so please join so that when we run the free rolls, you'll be right in there. So. Uh, what I'm hearing from Posse is now that I'm going to be here for six more minutes. He's going to go to lunch for 15 minutes and woof it down and then start. So it'll be a 15 minute break between these two games. And then Posse will be on and I'll join him on uh, Washington. Asking some questions. And see how it goes over and see what the software is like at inner tops. He's already practiced over there, seen what it was like. So today will be the first video of it. Live. Tell some friends. Again, come to Facebook to get the link or email me directly, alspath and alspath.com for the links. Oh, got some money going in the pot. I'm going. Got a nice hand here. I'm going to check raise all in here this could be the one hand I want I could get my 
but crunched also with a push drawer. Make them bet. Nico's gone. Nico's gone. He's not going to check, call five dollars. Here's the guy, true, and he gets there. <sighs> and I have no redraw. Let's hope he has the 10, though. Not the clubs. Goes all in, I know he's got me beat, and I'm crunched. Show that since I'm leaving. Gets me back. I'm going to take the auto post off. Gets me back to an $8 winner from my session. One loop around the table to go. Uh, still, ooh, a quick plum slick check now. from Spall D's saying nice hand I want them to remember that the next time I come that's why I show a hand late in the thing when I pull something off like that I I like to show it if, even if it was a bluff I like to show it so just put something in the minds of some people let them put a note on me probably an improper note so I've got uh, maybe three four hands Whatever that works out to be, that's going to be the end of the session. Whoa, that's a lot from Slick Chick. I would put it on the King Jack, King Queen, or the Ace 10 here. Possibly the Ace Jack, but I doubt the Ace Jack. I would say she's got two pair or better here. And she does not show it. I don't know if Posse can look and see how many people are viewing right now that are not um, signed up. Sometimes it says that I can see how many people are in chat, but there are sometimes people watching that do not have a Twitch account, which they should get. It's free. take a chance here only because I'm leaving I'm gonna spend some of my money and see if I can really flop two fives or two fours here and try to really make this a well, it's a good draw for me open-ended but I don't know what I want to pay on the second oh my god don't do that because that spoils is gonna go up higher it's gonna be costly folks this is what you don't want when you're first when you're leaving the table. Oh, this is good. If he didn't, re if he re-raised, it was tough. Thank you for the nutter butter. I'm just calling. Oh. Tempting them, tempting them, tempting them. Again, if they have 7 9 and they get to 10 and I get wiped out, I get wiped out. I just got to take the chance. They have less outs than I'm there. Oh, there you go. That's two pair or the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to let the time go down.
time option to go in. Here comes the call to pair. Thank you, my man. Thank you, my man. That's what you want to do when you're playing this game. Take a chance with a hand that can flop absolutely huge. Goodbye. Woohoo. $68. We passed our $50 goal and made it way up into the stratosphere. Now, if I was staying, I would say to myself right now, I'm going to play with $8.21. I'm taking off $60 from this table. I wouldn't let myself really go crazy into something because I really want the profit of the $25 or the $35 for sure. Okay. But since I'm leaving and, and Ryan's going to eat lunch and come back, um, I got one more hand to play. Yeah, um, Ryan says I learned that move from him, <laughs> but I recorded mine. <laughs> I can prove I did it. Just like all the times I put players on hands. And if you've been watching my jackpot tournaments lately, you have seen that quite a bit. And it's made me some big money. Started with 50 there. I think I'm near, nearly 400. I'm going to go a dollar here. Last hand. What happened? Uh oh. Don't pull me down. Look, look. Oh. Connection lost. Oh, what happened here? Oh, it did. It, it got me back. Oh, this would have been a spacey finish. I'm sitting down next hand. Anyhow, aloha to everybody. Thanks for watching Positive Poker Insiders. Please follow us on Twitch TV. On YouTube, it's Positive Poker Insiders or Al Spath. Uh, Talk to you real soon about card player cruises. Tina and Mark are to be running that. Going to be offering some really great stuff. So listen up for that and tell some friends what we're all about. Thanks, everybody. Al Spath is officially, officially out for today. But I'll be back with PPI Posse pretty soon. At Intertop.